Hello and welcome to Mishkukum. All right, before I get started in this, first I got to call out that I have nothing but respect for uh, Marco uh, and Alberto Ferrari and everyone at SQL BI. Uh, nothing but respect for them, uh, but I do disagree with them on uh, what should be the default for table and matrix uh, totals, measure totals in Power BI. Uh, and, and and they're not the only ones. Rick DeGroote, uh, there's a few others. You know, there's many others. I'm sure that they disagree with me on this topic. Um, but so hopefully in this video, I'm going to lay out the case of why I think they are incorrect, why I disagree with them, um, and show you, you know, physically, you know, what I'm what I'm talking about here. And the root of the problem. I'm not going to drain all the other reasons why measure totals should be, you know, just sum the rows uh, by default in Power BI. You know, you've seen those in the measure totals manifesto and all of that. In this video, it really comes down to, um, you know, the way it works today. If you have a non added, if you have an additive measure um, that DAX deems to be non additive, right, that you have to jump through a bunch of these hoops. Um, and really, in self service visualization, it, you know, circumstances, you are presented with an unsolvable problem um, versus if it was the reverse and, you know, the, t the table totals, the totals just sum the rows. Um, and if you were able to override that behavior for not truly non additive measures, right? Um, and I know that's a big F and we'll get into that. Um, but if you were able to to override that behavior because it only happens in totals and subtotals, then it becomes a solvable problem, not an unsolvable problem. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, I have my pickle and my banana. You can see my sum of my values is 540. I have my non-additive additive measure, right? And I know everybody hates my minus five example, but if you want a different example, you know, there's plenty out there that are less, you know, less than, greater than situations, uh, time intelligence situations, the vast majority of those. Uh, one more reason to hate those functions. Um, but, you know, if you want a better example or you know, different examples, then just go Google, you know, wrong total, site colon, community.powerbi.com. Yeah, and pick from one of the over 17,000 results you get back. Um, or just Google, you know, wrong total Power BI and pick from the over 17 million results that you get back. Um, and why Google and not Bing? Because anytime you search for anything on Bing, it always tells you that there's 2 billion results. Uh, talk about wrong totals, but that's a whole other topic. Okay, so I have my non additive additive measure. Obviously, I add this to, and eh, this is wrong, right? Or at least, you know, this is not what, I, not what I'm expecting to see. I'm expecting to see 530 here. Right, so and then you know the fix for this, and I do find this a little disingenuous in the SQL BI video that they're like, oh, it's so easy, you know, to return the correct total, just do a sum x over the values and blah blah blah. Except it's not that easy in, in practical real world examples. I've solved some crazy examples of getting the right totals in Power BI, um, and it's, it did not involve that. Um, it was much more complicated. Um, so I find that a little disingenuous, uh, and also I wouldn't use values, I'd use to sync. But regardless, um, so in the, here's, a, here's a potential fix, right? So we say, okay, here's my measure fix, I sum X, I summarize my table by my item, that's my pickle and my banana, you know, and I come, I create a value column that, you know, includes my non-additive additive measure, yeah, right, and then I just return that. Okay, so I can add that to my table, and now I've got my 530, which is correct, except, right, self-service visualization, um, now I, you know, I don't want just my item, but now I want uh, my size in here as well. So let's put size in here. And so now this total is incorrect again. All right. So how do you fix that? All right. You fix it. I summarize by both the item and the color, not in a measure. Add that. And now we've got the correct total 510, except I self-service visualization user wants to drag color in. Right. Well, now my measure fix has to be summarized by item, color, and size, my value, not added measure. I think I might have messed these up or whatever by adding the wrong ones, but you get the idea, right? You can add this in there. I get five, 490, you know, so now that's correct. Um, oh, yeah, it was color. All right, good. All right. Oh, yeah, I had color and size. Anyway, I screwed that up. But regardless, you get the idea, right? There's, there's basically no possible way to construct a measure in a self-service visualization uh, scenario where it's always going to return the right total. If you have, you know, even if you're trying to account for the fact that, okay, yeah, this I'm trying to make this an additive measure. 
right? So it becomes problematic. Um, if if not impossible to solve, but so versus, let's imagine a world where, hey, the table you know always sums the rows because it always assumes an additive measure, uh, but I have a really a real life non-additive measure that I that I need to, you know, have a, have a total that is non-additive, right? So I mean, so the basic you know can we could we override it in DAX, right? In you know that's a big if, um, but you know could you do something like this, right? And this is kind of the general idea here. Count, you know, count rows table, count rows all selected table. If those counts are equal, calculate the measure in the you know, in the context of all selected. Otherwise, you know, return the measure, right? And so in that case, you know, basically the idea would be, hey, regardless of you know anything else, like here's my non-additive total. Um, whether I have you know size in here or color or anything like that, you know, hey, I always you know it's always going to return 535, right? Okay, great. You know, great in theory, but how do you actually, how would you actually practically implement that in DAX? Um, and, you know, there is, there would be a solution for this, in my opinion, um, where, hey, if we had designed, if Microsoft had designed tables so that the, this always sum the rows, the total always sum the rows, then, you know, they could have introduced functions like this, like is total, or maybe is subtotal as well, right? Where, okay, the, you know, Power BI is looking at it, at the DAX measure and saying, oh, there's an is total function. So then, you know, use what's in the first parameter of that is total function. Again, this is a made up function. So it doesn't exist. You know, otherwise, if it's not in the total, it's not a total row, then do this, you know, the second parameter. You know, you can imagine the same thing for like subtotal, you know, in case you have matrix and it's not just a simple table, right? So th this become, this would have been a solvable issue um, if tables defaulted to, med you know, summing the rows, you know, Microsoft could code, could code this. Right. I mean, I could code this, I think, um, <laughs> into it. And and I know Microsoft has far better programmers than I am. Um, so that's why I think the default uh, should have been to sum the rows, because it takes you from having an unsolvable problem in certain in circumstances of self-service visualization to a solvable problem in self-service visualization. Um, now, you know, so probably I'm not going to rewind time at this point, um, but this seems like the better design choice in my opinion, because of that one particular issue, let alone, you know, the fact that 95% of everybody expects it. But, you know, okay, so this is a real world gag, Greg, you know, and I've, you know, posted out there online, you know, the image of, hey, it's a table and you could have an extra format card that is, you know, maybe it's part of the totals format card, maybe it's a totals behavior format card, and it allows you to control specifically, you know, based upon the measure, whether it's additive or non-additive. That kind of stuff, you know, and even like, you know, hey, it's it's I want it to be added, but I want it to be an average um, or I want it to be a, uh, a sum or I want it to be a median or, or a meet, you know, variance, whatever aggregation you want to use. Right. Um, so here's an, you know, here's another thought on this. Right. What if it was just a property of the measure? And, you know, you go into your prop, your fields pane in your model view and you have something like this little toggle here like this. Hey, this really is an, an additive measure. I want this to be. So you take it completely out of the hands of DAX, right? Completely out of the hands of DAX and say, hey, this, you know, for totals, essentially, if you're saying this is an additive measure, toggle this on, um, it's going to sum the, sum the rows uh, versus evaluate in the, in the context of all selected. Um, and you could even add maybe an, an additional drop down here for what aggregation you want to use. Um, so, you know, here's a third way to solve this, right? You know, as part of the table visualization. You know, if you know, as part of the table visualization, but you know, you introduce a couple of new DAX features or functions, um, or you know, maybe make it just part of the measure itself, the measure definition, and this could be implemented right um, using annotations, right? I mean, there's annotations used all over the place in Power BI for like formatting uh, dates and things like that. Um, so just make this, you know, these that would become annotations, or maybe they they are real true properties, which would require you to extend the schema. You know, for a tabular cube and all of that, but you know, or you could just implement them as annotations, and then the table uh, visualizations could respect that. Matrix visualizations could respect that. So, again, bottom line though is, you know, why I feel like the it was an incorrect design decision is because, again, it takes an unsolvable problem. I have no idea what the user is going to drag into this visual, um, you know, color or size or whatever it happens to be. And I have no idea what they're going to drag into this thing. So I, you know, how can I possibly construct a measure, an additive measure, 
um, that I want to be additive, that DAX considers is not additive, um, how can I possibly construct that? Um, I don't see a solution to that problem versus if they defaulted to summing, totals just defaulted to summing in table matrix visuals, then it would have been a solvable problem. It would have been a solvable problem by introducing a couple new DAX functions and voila, away you go, um, done, right? So that's the reason. Um, and that's all I have for this video. So everyone have a good day.